Hello everybody, this is Cougar. Welcome to the world of me and another review from the Amazon review series. Uh, today we have got a slightly different product than I usually get. It is this small sewing machine. Now, as you can see, it is very small, very compact and everything. And uh, I got this because uh, I, I've, I've gotten other little handheld sewers and things like that, but uh, there's some things that I have that I could use a little bit more functionality to it. Uh, you know, a, a little handheld sewer, uh, some of those ones that uh, I've, I've actually had one in a previous series, in a previous video, that is a one that is hand operated and that's great for small little things and everything but when you need to uh, stitch something that takes a little bit more length there's there's a lot more distance to it in terms of overall sewing more sewing to it you don't really want to make a uh, if you're making a garment of any type you don't want to use the little handheld sewer to do something like that uh, extremely tedious and uh, time consuming very fatiguing of course on your hand and everything so I did find this one and uh, you know there were some mixed reviews on it uh, I saw some people that absolutely loved it and other people that uh, didn't uh, I guess uh, sometimes they were having a hit or miss with uh, how it came out whether it worked when they got it or not so you know, maybe there was an issue at some point with the uh, with their quality team or something. But let's go ahead and find out uh, what this is like. Now, this is the uh, the little. Let's see if I can read this correctly. Little so and so, and that's S E W, uh, and that's by Mickley. And uh, so, you know, if you want to look it up on Amazon, of course, you can check it out in the description below there'll be that link to take you to the Amazon site if you want to see for yourself okay it comes out fairly simply pretty pretty simple and straightforward has the uh, instruction sheet here didn't look real complicated has some a little bit of information about four or five pages here yeah so and then we've got the units Oh, here we go. A little, a little note from from Mickley, and uh, has some warranty information and things like that on it. I've got the top cap and the bottom piece, and then there's the sewing machine. You've got oh a fistful of bobbins here. About uh, well, it looks like there's four of them, and it comes wound. They have a black and a white bobbin already wound, so uh, it does come with a little bit of thread. And then we've got some of the other parts here. Uh, uh, this one is, let's see, this is the, uh, there we go, there's the power. Little power plug, and as you can see, it's not, it's not one of the, it's not real big and bulky. It's just a, a simple little one. Of course, since this is just a very small unit, it's not going to have the full-size power uh, where you have a direct cord going straight into it because of it being so so small and lightweight basically I mean this is really made to be uh, very portable something simple that you could uh, it's almost small enough to throw in a drawer uh, of course that depends on how big the drawers that you have in your home are and then we've got this right here this is a very simple little foot pedal so you know not a whole lot to it there's there's basically three parts you know there's the sewing machine the foot pedal and the power I'm gonna go ahead here and open this up take a look even has a little piece of cloth in there to kind of show you and get things started and whatnot so that you can uh, see things how things are set up but also I, I believe this is set up so that uh, you know when they mail it and everything like that when it's in shipping this also helps to keep the needle uh, from being damaged or anything now it already does have there you go there's a fifth bobbin right there it's already wound up with some white thread so they've already got it started here uh, let's see what we've got here we've got a, a handful of different little things here we'll try to go over each one as we can um, let's go ahead and start at the top here. Looks like you've got uh, 
one of the bobbin holders here. So if you get a full size bobbin, you can put it on there. Um, a spool, I guess, is more what it's called. The smaller ones, I believe, are, are called bobbins. Um, let's see, I believe this is the, this is, you probably want to stay clear of that because I believe it is part of the shaft here that uh, goes up and down for the needle. Uh, you've got your, your little leader arm there, your tensioner right here, so that tells how tight the thread is going to be as it's pulling through. Of course, there's your bobbin and, and uh, your little bobbin holder right there. You've got your little turn arm here, which will manually, as you can see it moving up and down as I'm turning it, that will, of course, manually move the uh, needle. So if you need to back it off or something like that to pull your material out, you've got an on-off button, which is just a simple little push button. On the back here, you've got uh, two little plug openings here. You've got the top one, which is going to be for your foot pedal, and that uses, basically it looks like a mono phono jack, uh, the eighth inch size. So that would, of course, plug in right there. And then you've got your power plug there down at the bottom. So, and then the nice thing, again, like I said, this is portable. And the other nice thing is it actually can run on batteries. It takes uh, four AA batteries. So obviously, again, it's not super powerful. Uh, you're not going to take this and go and sew leather jackets or, or, or anything like that. But you can do, I'm sure, some lightweight materials, uh, you know, things cotton, cotton or nylon or th things like that. I don't know if you'd quite want to do too much in the way of jean material, at least not with something with too many layers. Uh, you know, doing two layers together, that's probably fine, but to do like the uh, seams that are on like the side of pants and things like that, like actual jeans, those are usually pretty thick. It's usually about three or four layers thick, and, and I don't know that you really want to try doing that with something small like this. Now, I do have something that I want to run through this. Uh, it's actually, if you can see, I have a different mat here that I am working on today, and that is because the other one that I have actually two things. It needs washed. I accidentally spilled something on it. But two, uh, the edges, what it is, is I go out and I buy material to, to use here. And the material, of course, is opened on the ends. So I need to create a folded over section and, and see, basically seal it off so that I don't have it all fraying out. And then the whole thing just kind of falls apart on me. So that's part of what this is going to be for. Uh, you know, we'll come back in just a little while and I'll uh, have this set up and we'll run this through and see what it looks like. Uh, now you do have a little slide here at the bottom and there actually is a sixth bobbin right there. If you, if you can see that very well, I'm, I'm hoping the camera's picking this up for you all right. But there is your sixth bobbin of the total amount that you have. But you have, of course, one at the top here and then one down at the bottom so that this one will take and uh, feed down through and you've got your top stitch and then this one, of course, will do your bottom stitch. So if you do want to do some stitching and you want something to be able to flip one way or the other and have a different look, uh, you could have, uh, of course, one thread color on one side and one thread color on the other side and uh, you know you'll be able to do something like that there. Uh, something else I I did miss too here is there is also this button on the side here, which goes low and high. So of course, obviously, if you are going to go in straight lines and don't need to have uh, you know have any quick movements or anything like that, you can kick it on high and just kind of barrel right through it. So, uh, well, like I said, I am going to go ahead and pause right here and get this all set up. We'll be right back in just a moment and uh, I will have this set up with the material in it and we'll see how it runs. Hopefully it runs all right. I'm, I've got my fingers crossed. Uh, obviously, being a small sewing machine, this is not going to do any of the fancy things. Uh, you know, it doesn't have any of the zigzag patterns or anything like that. It's just a straight stitch that this is going to do. So uh, just keep that in mind if you guys do go and check this out there at Amazon. And, uh, you know, that's all I need it to do is straight stitch. So we'll be right back and uh, we'll see how this thing works with a little bit of fabric going through it. And we'll see if we can get my, uh, my other covering here 
kind of stitched up and ready to go. All right, everybody. So we're back and, uh, you know, I've got this all set up. As you can see, I've got my material in here and I've already got the, uh, the hem or the crease or the, uh, you know, whatever you want to call it here. Uh, I believe it's called a hem. Uh, I do know some of these terms. I don't remember them all. It's been a very long time since I was in uh, home ec and all that kind of thing. So, uh, you know, I don't remember all the terms for everything, but you guys can get the gist um, one way or the other. I have this right now set to low and uh, let's go ahead and, oh, it's a, okay, here we go. Well, <clears throat> if I want to use it, it turns, turns out it looks like if I have this, uh, if I hit the push button, it kind of starts and goes on its own. I'm guessing maybe that's so that you can use it without the foot pedal. Um, unless maybe the foot pedal is not working properly. We'll find out here in just a second. So there we go. And that's on low. As you can see how it's stitching relatively slowly there. It's easy to control and whatnot. Let's see. Okay. Doesn't look like I'm quite having the control on the foot pedal. Uh, might be something that I need to double check here in the manual to see. Let's let's do a quick overview on that real quick. I didn't really kind of made an assumption, and uh, I assumed just plugging it in would uh, would make it work. Okay, it says supposedly all you have to do is uh, press the foot pedal. You don't actually have to turn it on. Uh, on there we go. Okay, I just didn't have it pressed down far enough when I was doing it before. So here we go. Doing a little slow stitching right there. And uh, you can see it's coming out fairly well, a fairly nice line right there. Um, I, of course, as you can see, I've already got this folded over. I've got it uh, ironed so that it stays where it needs to and whatnot. This is a fairly long section. I, I've got to go all the way around this to uh, to make sure that it doesn't fray out and of course I'll have to kind of go back over some of these edges right around the corners where it stops because you know you don't want it to just pull on one of the strings by accident and have it unravel so you want to do that uh, back stitching uh, so I probably should have done that at first but you know to each his own you live and you learn uh, let's go ahead and try and switch it to high and let's see what it does that way and how much of a difference it makes Okay, it's about twice as fast. It's moving right along there. And it does seem to be working well. You know, I'm not having any problems with it. All right. So there we go. Um, I've got, uh, you know, obviously I don't have a perfectly straight line, but I'm not worried about it being perfect or anything like that. As long as it's close and, and fairly straight, you know, as long as it doesn't look like I was uh, drunk while trying to paint the road, uh, the lines on the road kind of thing, you know. So, looks like it's not too bad for, for a very simple sewing machine. I, it was, you know, it's, it, it's in like a $20 range, I believe, if I remember correctly, uh, on Amazon. And for 20 bucks, I mean, especially compared to spending, you know, generally, if you want one that's even reasonable, uh, you're, you're looking at close to $200, I think, for a full-size sewing machine. Now, of course, granted, those do have a lot more capability. Uh, they're a lot beefier. They're made for heavier, uh, heavier work. They can do uh, thicker fabrics, things like that. So, of course, you know, there's going to be that huge price difference, but this one's pretty nice. It, it's, it's portable and everything for anybody that, uh, you know, maybe maybe you do some some sewing or stitching or something like that. Maybe you're going out on the road and uh, you're doing you d you have some kind of uh, work that involves maybe having to do a little bit of sewing, kind of on the fly or whatever like that. Uh, this could be something you could drop into your into your uh, luggage there, and you only need some batteries. You don't even have to have it plugged in. So you could be maybe at a campsite even and uh, have this out and sew up a few things you know maybe your 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 tent rips or your tent cover rips or something like that and you've got to kind of stitch it back together and this would be something convenient for that because of course something like that could be a a very long uh section to sew and to do that with a simple hand sewer would be pretty tedious 
So right now, as far as it goes, if, I, uh, if I'm going to go ahead and give a rating on this, by the way, I would probably give this at least a four star, maybe a five star. Uh, I, I think I'm right there. I'm right at about a four and a half star at the moment. Uh, I want to use it just a little bit more, kind of see how things work and everything, make sure everything feeds through and, and does what it's supposed to do. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll check out from there. If you do want to see uh, this on Amazon, again, there is the link down there in the description below. Uh, on your way down there, I would definitely appreciate if you hit that thumbs up button if you like this video and would like to see more videos like this. Uh, it helps me out and it helps the channel out as well as hitting that subscribe button, which there should be a little bubble floating around here and it has that nice little World of Me logo on it. And if not, you can always hit that uh, subscribe uh, button right down there by the title. Uh, also, when you're down there in the description below, We've got our social media outlets. We've got YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and I believe Google Plus. Uh, some, something like that. Uh, all, obviously, you're on YouTube, so I'm thinking Instagram. That's the one I forgot. But anyhow, go ahead and check those out. They'll let you know when there's some more videos out. They'll let you know some of the things that might be coming or going on here at the World of Me. And, uh, you know, I think that's about it, everybody. I... Uh, I'm reasonably impressed. I like this for, for about a $20 buy. I think this is uh, going to be very uh, useful for me. I have a handful of different things that uh, are just basic things just like this uh, that uh, I could use this for and, and have been needing to kind of get done. I have some modifications to some clothing and different things like that that doing a little bit of, little bit of stitching here and there with something like this would work wonderfully. So... All right, guys. Well, I'm Cougar, and this is The World of Me and another episode from the Amazon Review Series. I would like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye.